Hey there YouTube, it's uh, Marvin here again. Anyway, as you can see guys that I received my two power supply that I ordered from AliExpress. And uh, this power supply, this is the brand here, Yulong Feng Bao. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Anyway, this is the, exactly the same brand of the power supply that I'm using with my BTC-T37 that I built like over almost eight months ago and then since then it just keep running no problem the cooling fan it's really it's really working well even in the summertime i remember that we had heat wave uh, last summer and then that rig was in my garage and then I even i touched the casing of the power supply it's just like a little bit warm it's just like there's really nothing to be concerned about overheating the fan is kind of like on the a little bit loud but it's not too loud actually it's not as loud as server power supply which is this one here this guy here we it's like it makes like really kind of a high pitch like loud noise and it's kind of annoying noise once you load it with like at least three GPUs. And the reason for that, because you know, like I'm in uh, Canada and I have a like uh, our outlet is like uh, uh, 110 volts. So like once you supply this with 110 volts, this is gonna make a lot of noise. But people said that if it's you supply it with uh, uh, 220, it's gonna be more quieter. And keep in mind with this. Uh, server power supply as you can see right here if your source ac source is only 100 volt or 100 volts you're gonna get like maximum output of 800 watts so in order to get the 1200 maximum which is this is the cap uh, capability of this power server power supply you have to uh, get a 200 to 240 volts ac input anyway back to this power supply so as i mentioned this one doesn't have a 24 pins connector instead it has 10 of the six pins connector which is really this power supply is really designed to power the riserless the 8 gpu riserless motherboard and uh, because this one doesn't have 24 pins so I'm expecting that as soon as you plug it in and turn the power switch on, it's the power supply should turn on right away because we don't need the 24, uh, 24 plug, pin, uh, plug connector to force the power supply to turn on like uh, this one here. Anyway, let's try to power it on and then I will set it up with the uh, uh, B85 dash BTC motherboard and a D37 to just to test it. I don't have, I'm, I don't need to plug in any video card right now, the, because the uh, the CPU does it does have the discrete, uh, uh, I mean integrated uh, uh, graphics card built in, so it can you know the the those motherboard will run like a normal PC. Okay, let's plug it in. Yeah, I'm gonna start uh, with power supply itself first. I don't want to plug it into my motherboard right away without testing it. But anyway, just to show you guys the wire. The wire is about like uh, 1.5 uh, uh, feet long. And uh, as you can see here, like we have, let's see. One, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten so like that said we have like uh, two extra if we are uh, gonna use eight gpus I got power here and uh, just to show you guys here again there's 110 to 240 you have to pay attention to that when you're by uh, when you order it depends where you live and uh, it's says there 2000 watts okay let's plug it in all right the fan is not running turn the switch on 
there you have it yeah so that's what exactly what i expected as i said it doesn't have a 24 pins connector so once you turn uh, plug it in and turn the switch on it should power up right away all right let's uh, get the motherboard and then try to test it with the motherboard okay get the motherboard here next to me we're gonna test it first with the b85 dash btc motherboard that has like uh, well, i mean that it didn't come with the cpu built in you have to get your own okay i already connected my monitor via vga it doesn't have this guy doesn't have a uh an hdmi uh, port all right so what i'm gonna do is to power the motherboard from this side first and then next we're gonna power it from uh at the back uh, connectors let me plug in my monitor all right so i'm just gonna use uh, one single wire and not, i mean single wire once one six pins uh, connector to power the motherboard since we don't have we're not gonna uh, run gpu i mean even though we're running one gpu one six pins connector should be enough so I'm going to power it from here. There you go. And I'm just going to move this a bit so that you guys can see the power supply that is running. let's uh, fire it up I already have like SSD and memory CPU installed on the motherboard is always ready let's fire it up let's adjust the camera and uh, I also set the bias of the motherboard to turn on automatically when it detects the power from the power supply so that it's on as you can see now it is on and there you go so yeah as i said this power i mean this motherboard can just you can just work like a regular pc this is not strictly designed for mining it's just like a regular pc that you can use every day except that It has like eight GPU slots, right? There you go. So I'm connected to the internet. It's uh, turning on. So now what I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna power the motherboard from the back. Let's uh, shut it down. I don't know if you can hear the noise of the fan. That's how noisy it is, even though you load like even though you put like eight gpus it's the, the the fan noise doesn't like doesn't change it's just like a constant as soon as you turn it on it just stay like that so i mean if i don't know at night probably i can still sleep if it's next this this fan this kind of noise is next to me if, but i mean i don't want to put it in my bedroom but it's like the the noise is kind of acceptable actually i could compare the noise of the, the fan of this power supply i can compare it to the probably like uh, medium settings of the standard electric fan that you use in the summertime that's how the level of the noise the i mean the high settings of the electric fan which is what number three i don't know if you have like let's say three speed electric fan the number three is way way noisier than this power supply Just to show you guys, like that's how the fan spins, and that's the noise. 
and I'm powering the motherboard with a single 6 pin connector right there. So let's move it on the probably the first one here. Anyway, guys, just keep in mind that since this power supply doesn't have 24 pins connector that is attached to the motherboard, it means the motherboard is not controlling the power supply. Even though you shut down the computer, the mining motherboard, the, your power supply is still gonna stay on because it's not controlled by the motherboard. All right, so I move the uh, the six pins connector to here. Uh, just uh, as a reminder again, B eighty five dash BTC. You cannot interchange this uh, connector. As you can see, the arrow there. This means this is out that goes to, to go into supply your GPU and this is the going to supply your motherboard and the PCIe. So yeah, I, yeah make sure to turn off the power switch at the back of the power supply when you connect the six pins connector. So now we're gonna turn it on. Power supply turns on. Motherboard detects the power, it will automatically turn on as well. Now it's booting. All right, so now I'm. Well, we are powering the motherboard on the back side connector, and it's running just fine. And I'm connected to the internet, and I can browse. I can use this motherboard, you know, like whatever I want to use it for. I can use it as a regular PC, or I can use it as a mining uh, motherboard. So. And it's not expensive like the other motherboards. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna shut it down again and uh, connect all the uh, all connectors from the back side. We, we, we're gonna try to connect all of them and then try to turn it on again. Okay, the motherboard shut down again. The PSU is not controlled by the motherboard, so we have to turn off the power switch at the back. All right, so all the eight uh, connectors are connected, and uh, as you can see, I still have two six pins connector left, which uh, each extra. So let's power up the power supply. Power supply on, motherboard detects the power and it boots up. Yeah, so when you are running eight GPUs or like two or three at least connect, like while well, you're running one, you you can on, only use you can use one connectors, I mean six pins connectors only, but if you're running two, please connect two, or if you're running eight connect all of them because 8 GPUs will uh, draw more current than single GPU. The other advantage of connecting all of them even though even though me if I have let's say I'm only running one GPU I just rather connect all of them anyway if I have the uh, uh, six pins connector available because let's say like out of eight of them three of them become uh, uh, you, you'll encounter a loose connection so you still have like five connection solid connection that will keep your motherboard for mining rig running and just to show you what i'm talking about now i have like eight connection since they are parallel if i unplug this one here it's not gonna affect anything it doesn't even flicker or anything so it means this one has loose connection now because i unplug it but you still have seven connection the same connection solid connection that keeps your motherboard or mining rig running when you plug this one in it's not gonna affect anything yeah but i don't i don't recommend that you guys to do that you know like every time you unplug or plug wires please you know like uh, uh turn uh, shut down your mining rig and then turn off the power supply 
it's important to turn it turn it off you know just to be safe it's just for demonstration right now by saying that i'm not expert uh, by any means you know i'm a computer technician myself but you know when it comes to mining you know it's not my line i mean it's also using computers but mining is like totally different from a computer repair uh, technicians right so like i i'm learning every day uh, this is the reason why i you know uh, create my youtube channel because i learn a lot from youtube uh, from other youtubers so i want to share you know my experience I, I wanted to keep learning every day i wanted to learn from you guys you know we can learn from each other we can help each other and it's i mean it's a good hobby it's a fun hobby you know like uh, as you guys know that my channel actually is not uh I mean it's strictly for mining it's just like whatever I do because I'm doing lots of mining stuff right now so like uh, most of my uploads right now is uh, about uh, mining and uh, yeah so I'm gonna continue doing that whatever I do I'm gonna upload it so if you use this power supply since you have only uh, 10 six pins connector so and then you have to use this all of them here to power the motherboard so it means like you have to get the power of the GPU from the motherboard which is this is the design of this motherboard so you're gonna need a this connector here six pins this is six pins to eight pins and if your GPU requires uh, two six pins I mean two eight pins or one six pins and uh, one eight pins then you're gonna split that using this wire here this is gonna you're gonna plug it in here and then now you split that wire and then now you have two uh eight pins connector this is also like you can split this two make it six pins only right there again this uh, wire is available from amazon uh, aliexpress or uh, parallel miner just make sure to get the proper size of wire if you buy it from online from ebay or whatever sometimes you get like a very thin wire like this one i don't really use this because it's too small i bought this from ebay from an own seller as you can see right there I don't know if you can tell the difference but this one here is a bit bigger this one I bought is from Amazon but the one that I bought from uh, Aliexpress I don't have it right now I mean not Aliexpress uh, parallel miner I don't have it right now is uh, way bigger than uh, than this one so uh, what advice to you know like to to buy wires from you know uh, reputable uh, uh, reseller like parallel miner I, I'm not I'm not affiliate with them it's just like I, I like their stuff you know anyway let's uh, show you guys again these connectors here doesn't matter you can connect any wires from the power supply they are just parallel but this one here the one with the arrow out this is connected to each assigned to each PCIe slot so when you plug in say you, you when you plug in your GPU on the first one make sure to use this one here even though you can interchange it what would you why would you do that anyway right it's gonna be a wasted of the, the length of the wire anyway and again uh, do not power try to power your motherboard and this connector you want because it won't power on and believe me I already tried that so let's say that you plug in the GPU here so what the you need is this wire here you just have to plug into the second connector here which is with the arrow out and then this one you're gonna plug it in to your GPU you to power your GPU again if you GPU has two connectors you, you have to use this wire here the splitter so that it will power your GPU the two the two uh, two GPU connectors uh, one connector actually is powering your uh, a GPU board and one connector is gonna power the fans and 
I think that's it for the B85. So now we were gonna try to uh, we're gonna try the power supply with the uh, BTC S37. Okay, let's shut it down. Right, so we get the SSD installed and all the cable from the power supply connected to 468 and let's fire it up. Again, I set the bias, all, all, all my rig, I set the bias to turn it on automatically when it detects the power from the power supply so I don't have to push the power button from the motherboard there you go it doesn't detect the oh there you go the mouse working and we're connected to the internet and then we can browse use this as regular PC as the CPU has the integrated graphics card Alright, it's the easy way to search my channel. Just type RUV random and it will show right away using Google or uh, YouTube. I want to show you guys here that this is just a regular PC. See, there you go. So for me, like, you know, like they made this, you know, uh, motherboard. So they know exactly what kind of power supply they have to make to power this motherboard. Right. And then as I said, like, you know, like the first power supply, the same brand that I have. You know running right until right now it's, it's like running like almost eight months since i built it and i don't have any issue with it no overheating issue or any sort so i trust the power supply as much as i trust the branded one because i already proven it i already tested it and you know like comparing if like if you from now on i guess i'm not gonna use a server power supply anymore because I said that this uh, a server power supply is just like make too much you know like annoying high pitch noise and plus like I wanna keep like my build clean like less wires less connectors server power supply you need to buy another board which is the breaker board and then attach it to it and then you can attach all the wires from here well this depends how you how you build your rig is gonna be as clean as when you do the wire management but i mean seeing this power supply i can make my build more faster i can make my build more cleaner and you know like like another less connection that you have to worry from breakout board to the server power supply so it means like less loose connection that you have to worry and you know it's just more faster and by the way i forgot to mention how much i paid for it i paid 173 uh, and 49 cents Canadian 
uh, that is uh, including shipping of course that's a plus taxes but this the shipping is free and as you can see right there in the picture yeah uh, that's the price I paid and that's the seller so if you want to buy the same one that is from Aliexpress you can just search that seller if you want to buy exactly the same one from the seller yeah and uh, yeah when you go to Aliexpress try to look for the free shipping one and you're gonna save lots of money I every time I order I don't wanna I don't uh, order from uh, I always uh, look for a free shipping uh, if you can find a free shipping one so at least look for the seller that uh, uh, charge very low shipping fee alright guys that's it for this video and if you have any thoughts about the power supply or if you are using the same one please let me know what you think of it what is your experience with the power supply if you like it or not noise level performance whatever you know alright guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye